Yeah, so we all love CineSteel 800, and definitely nothing can replace the feeling of shooting film. But nowadays it can get pretty expensive, so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to replicate the red halation effect with a simple technique in Capture One. As you can see, I've already applied the brush on multiple images and they work like a charm. I saved these custom brushes so you can get instant results. And I will talk about that later in the video, including a small contest. So watch till the end to find out more details. Ok, let's get started. First step, press B to activate the brush tool and adjust the size to match your preferences. Also lower the opacity and flow to 70%. Then just paint in areas of high contrast where the brightest meets the darker areas. Next, go to the curve tab in the red channel and just crush the white point. And there you have it. One thing that I don't like is the hard edges on the lights. It looks very digital. I want to have a smoother transitioning right there, so it looks organic. We can make this by creating a new layer, right click and copy the mask from the first layer. This way it will only copy the mask and not the adjustments applied on the mask. Next step, bring up the brightness and make a ridiculous S-curve to blow out the highlights. Now you can adjust the opacity of the layer to control the effect. Maybe adjust the luma range to further refine the affected area. You can follow these steps to achieve the halation effect or I've saved a couple style brushes for you to get the same results instantly. These brushes also include light leaks to give your images even more of a film look. You can find these brushes on my website together with over 50 film presets which will give you the same kind of look, link down below. Or comment for a chance to win them, I'll choose a winner at the end of the month. Like and subscribe if you want to get more free tutorials and thank you for watching. See you next time.